hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about linked list class in collection framework so this is also very important and uh, so java linked list uh, class is doubly linked list implementation of the list and deco interfaces okay so basically it follows the doubly linked list uh, data structure and this linked list class implements a uh, list and deco interfaces so let me just show you so if you can see this diagram uh, linked list class okay so this will uh, implement list interface as well as dq interface okay let me just come back here okay so these are the different properties of linked list so it permits all elements including duplicates and null values okay we'll see that and linked list maintains the insertion order same like uh, array list of the elements and it is not synchronized this is also not synchronized so this is not thread safe okay the manipulation is fast because no shifting is required so i'll show you what do you mean by this one because uh, we have seen in uh, array list that uh, shifting a lot of shifting is required uh, you can say bit shifting is required right so here in linked list there is no bit shifting i'll show you why so so this is the diagram of uh, single linked list and uh, doubly linked list so linked list follows uh, doubly, uh, doubly linked list uh, data structure so if you can see uh, each node has this is linked list okay so each node has a uh, two segments here okay uh, if you talk about uh, single list linked list so this part the first part is the value part or you can say data part and second part is the address or you can say reference reference of the next element okay similarly for the second element uh, so this is the data part or you can say each this is uh, each one of these is a uh, node okay so if you talk about the second node uh, so seven is the value data here and this will represent the next element reference okay next node reference and the first first node uh, is called the head and the last one will point to the null or you can say nothing okay uh, similarly i mean there is a, a little bit difference uh, in w linked list so in w linked list the first uh, point uh, with the i mean previous reference right prevents uh, ref uh, address of the previous uh, node so here there is no node so that's why it, it shows null uh, let's talk about this one the so first one is will point the reference of the previous node okay the address of the previous node and the middle one is the data or you can say element and the third one is third one will point to the uh, reference variable of the uh, reference of next element okay next node so similarly for this one so let's go back so the manipulation in fast uh, manipulation is fast because no shifting is required okay so how it will be fast because if you can see if you talk about uh, array list so there is uh, i mean uh, a lot of shifting is required suppose we want to insert between uh, third and fourth element so the uh, fourth element will be shifted to the next element right i mean uh, one step further and we can insert our new element over there so a lot of shifting is required suppose we have 100 elements after uh, a fourth element so a lot of shifting all the uh, elements will be shifted to uh, towards the right but here only the shifting of the address will be required here so we'll we can insert the value here and uh, just reference variable of uh, node the reference variable will be changed i mean what you can say the address will be the change will be changed okay so so this is why uh, uh, the manipulation is fast in linked list so let's see how to create a linked list and how to use the different methods so let me just create Oh, new class linked list demo I'll select public strip void main 
so how to create linked list i'll give l list okay and use keyword new link list so this is how we can create we have to import a uh, link list from java.util okay so let me just use the generics here so let's use this time string type of data so similarly we have to give so this is not mandatory so but we, we it, it's better to give here as well so now let's uh, create uh, add some elements okay so i'll add uh, uh, c let's use uh, some language programming language okay to add the elements so the next one is c plus plus I'll add the third one Java let's go back the properties so permits elements including duplicates and null values okay so let's just use the fourth one as Python Python and we can insert duplicate value as well so Python and we can insert the null value as well so simply type null over here so let's just uh, print this how to print the values simply in system dot out dot print in give this link list name let's just print it so here we go uh, C, C++, Java, Python, Python and null so there are a lot of uh, other uh, methods okay so let's use them dot so we can add uh, add first is there so we can add uh, in the first part we can add let's add one more C okay and let's print this again so here we go C two times C so we can add our new elements at first as well so this uh, this is the method for the for that one insert the specified element at the beginning of the list okay and similarly we have at last as well at last so we can add javascript script here okay let's print this here we go javascript added at last okay and how to remove this how do how to remove the elements so we can use remove uh, method so we can give the index as well so let's give index so we want to remove 0 1 2 3 4 4 so fourth index we want to remove and let's print afterwards yeah uh, so one python is removed okay so this is how we can use the remove uh, function and we have contains clear clear to remove all the elements clone to copy okay so these are the different uh, methods so this end descending iterator method is there so that is to reverse the uh, uh, link list okay and we have gate method to 
get the value and uh, we have so many methods so pick means to pick the value so let's see what it will what it does retreat but does not remove the head first element of the list so it will pick will uh, get the first value so let's try this so let me just try inside uh, this print statement okay so it will simply it will retrieve the first element so here we go it will print the first element okay and we have some more method at last pick last so it will pick the last one okay poll first is there so i think this will uh, retrieves and removes the first element of the list or returns null if this list is empty so retrieves and remove the first element of the list so it will remove the first element of the list okay so let's print this afterwards so what was our first element c was the first element so let's see if it uh, removes the first element so here we go it removes the first element okay so this is how we can use different uh, methods uh, in linked list okay and how to iterate so in the same manner we can iterate so using uh, let's use for loop int i is equal to 0 less than dot size and i plus plus okay and simply print dot get of i okay let's print this so here we go c c plus plus java python null javascript so it prints the value one by one another method is iterator we have seen earlier uh, in the array list as well so we can use the same okay so this is all about uh, uh, link list so in the next video we'll talk about uh, vector and stack class okay so thank you for uh, watching guys uh, have a nice day bye bye